receipt and distribution of power supply for Delhi Metro station and train operations. The Delhi Metro is a rapid transit system serving in Delhi and NCR. It is by far the largest and busiest metro in India and second oldest after the Kolkata Metro. Delhi Metro operates over thousands of trip daily from morning to late evening. Millions of people use metro system daily to reach their destination. Metro trains runs on 25 kV AC power supply system which is called electrified traction system. A large network of electrified traction system has been established in Delhi and NCR by DMRC. Apart from traction power supply, power supply is also required to run the auxiliary systems at metro stations like air conditioning, escalators, lighting, ventilation system and many others. Arrangement of power supply for auxiliary uses at various stations is called auxiliary power supply network. For any metro rail transit system, uninterrupted power supply is essential. To increase the reliability of incoming power supply, DMRC receives supply from grid through different supply authorities at higher voltage level. Receiving Substations to manage the incoming supply and to further distribution of incoming supply for traction and auxiliary power network, substations are provided at various suitable locations. These substations are called receiving substations or RSS. An average distance between two RSS is around 10 to 12 kilometers. To ensure 100% availability of electricity, a well-designed network of power receipt and its distribution has been established by DMRC. Each line of DMRC network is fed through more than one RSS. In normal scenario, each line has been electrically divided into small sections and each section is fed through different RSS. In case of failure of any one RSS, other RSS available in the network take care of the need of power supply of faulty RSS. In such circumstances, this switching operation of RSS is done so quickly that it hardly affects the punctuality of train operations. These substations are well equipped with various types of equipments. These equipments are used for switching, measuring, monitoring and protection of incoming and outgoing supply of RSS. If there is any fault in any section, protection system isolates that faulty section from rest of the system so that healthy section remains in charged position and the availability of supply does not get disturbed. Distribution of Power Supply Now we will see how power supply is distributed from RSS. Number 1 For operation of trains Number 2 for the auxiliary system at various stations. Supply distribution for operation of trains. Delhi Metro receives three-phase supply at 220 kV or 132 kV or 66 kV from different supply authorities, while Metro train is fed through single-phase supply at 25 kV. So, for making the arrangement suitable, single-phase traction transformers are provided inside RSS. This transformer step down the incoming supply to 25 kV which is further extended to traction overhead equipment OHE for trains operations. The section of RSS where switch gears are provided for distribution of 25 kV supply is called traction substations or TSS. Power supply distribution for auxiliary loads at various metro stations. Arrangement of power supply to run the auxiliary loads at metro stations like lift, escalator, lights, air conditioning system, tunnel ventilation system and many other type of loads is also done through RSS. For distribution of auxiliary supply, 
auxiliary transformers are provided inside RSS. This auxiliary transformer step down high voltage incoming supply from grid into three phase 33 kV supply. This 33 kV supply is extended to nearby metro station by means of suitable cables. Rest other stations which come under that particular RSS are connected to each other by 33 kV ring system. This 33 kV supply is still high for auxiliary equipments. Local auxiliary transformer step downs 33 kV incoming supply to 3 phase 415 volt AC. This 3 phase 415 volt AC supply is further distributed to various auxiliary equipments. Thank you. You were watching a video by Delhi Metro Rail Academy.